All right, welcome to the middle of a jet experience. New video, new day. We're in the second half of the cruise now. We, we uh, docked this morning in Ensenada, Mexico. We're about to get ready, get off the ship, and kind of go walk around a little bit. Every cruise we've done so far always comes here, so this is like our third or fourth time here. We'll just go walk around a little bit and you know, perhaps shop a little bit. Uh, if it looks like it's raining or sounds like it's raining behind me, it's just because today is cleaning day outside on the patio, so I gotta hurry up and finish this up so I don't get wet. Uh, but go ahead and join us on this continuation experience. All right, so we just got off the ship. You can see it behind me. We are on the uh, port of Ensenada, and we didn't plan to do anything kind of uh, structured. We were just gonna walk around, but they were advertising a topless bus tour, not to be confused with a different topless, just an open top. They were sold out for the top part, which is okay because I got way too much sun yesterday. So we got the bottom of the bus for $20 a person and Declan was actually only 15. And it sounds like it's like an hour, hour and a half, maybe something like that. So we grabbed it for the one leaving in five minutes. So perfect timing. We're just waiting for them to call our tour and then we'll get on the bus and we'll actually go get a guided tour of Ensenada. Stops for an hour so we can get out in downtown, eat and uh, shop and whatnot. We heard Buyo's over here has potatoes, so we're gonna go over and see if we can get some potato tacos. Papa's de tacos. There's lots of restaurants around in here where are like in their version of downtown. It's very, very busy and happening. So I didn't get the camera up just in time, but we just got serenaded uh, with the guitar. He started with a little baby shark for this little baby shark and then uh, went on some more music and right now we're just waiting for our food. All right, so we got the food. Declan got his staple, quesadilla. And as he was excited that it's white cheese, which means it's gonna be the good cheese. I got the, the veggie tacos, they're kind of street tacos. They asked how many, so you can kind of buy them by the taco. It just looks like some grilled uh, vegetables in it. And then I put the green sauce because they gave us some green and red sauce. Uh, the green smells really spicy, uh, so I'm gonna try that. And then Ashley got, um, because you know we're vegetarian, we had to kind of create some stuff. So we got the papas, um, and then they put some guacamole and I think some cheese on it. Uh, so it's basically just kind of like uh, mashed potatoes with uh, a bunch of toppings on it. All right, it's been a while since I've uh, done a food review, so to speak. It won't be an official food review, it's just reaction I guess so so here's the taco a little bit of green sauce on it that is good I want to actually put a little bit more sauce in it and then I'm gonna try red sauce in the other one or in one of the other ones really high quality vegetables the corn tortilla has just enough of a fry to it to give it a little bit of like substance and texture and then the sauce just really makes it really good oh and Ashley's giving me some of her potatoes so 
Oh, those are good potatoes. Oh, I love those. All right, so it just paid. It, it worked out to about 20 bucks for the three of us. So really good prices. I'm gonna give them a really good plug. Again, it's Buyo's place in Ensenada. Here's kind of the, uh, the special menu out here right now. Of course, anybody watching this uh, from the US, uh, bear in mind this is not US dollars, so it's not $190. It gives you kind of the exchange rate. It's about $10 for that. And then it's a, it's a small little place. And then we'll show kind of, they've got a combo menu up here. And there we go. Kind of pause there for a moment so people can see. And then I'll just kind of show it real quick. It's a really, really cool, nice place in here. That wall's super well decorated with lots of dollars actually. And then kind of the kitchen's just like right here. So excellent place. And then I love the artwork on the tables in here. They're all kind of different, like, you know, sea creatures and whatnot. And again, Buyo's place since 1997. So just about 25 years old. All right, we just got back from the tour. So now we're actually gonna use that manual power I was talking about in the other video. And now walk back over and kind of do a little bit more shopping. So we'll walk on over that way, kind of where the Puerto sign is and see what they got. All right, so. Obviously, since we're in Mexico, we have to get authentic Mexican churros, which should be way better than, you know, the average one we get at, you know, Disneyland or whatever. Mm. It's really soft in the middle. It's not overly crispy, which is what I don't like about churros, how it just sometimes feels like you're eating chalk. Soft in the inside, crisp on the outside, just the right amount of sugar, super delicious. All right, so we came back uh, out walking, of course, and I remember Julio, I, I need to go back and look at the footage, but I saw him waving at the camera, and that's Julio here. He doesn't have a uh, sign for the store yet, but it's Julio's. So there's some ponchos, go angels, and then shirts over here, and lots of uh, silver jewelry as well. Really, really nice, we got one of the clay handcrafted kind of art pieces I'll show later uh, to hang up in the backyard when we get home. All right, we are all done out and about in Ensenada. We got a couple hours left that we could be out there, but we're gonna wander back onto the ship now and start the evening's activities. All right, so tonight for dinner, uh, kind of a seafood type um, menu. You got steamed mussels, penne pomodoro, shrimp creole, cornmeal crusted chicken, barbecue pork spare ribs. Well, we're excited for the cinnamon pumpkin cheese pie, jambalaya, another baked potato line. And then the soup is wild rice, gruyere, and country chicken soup. So unfortunately, I can't get the soup tonight. And then it'll be right around here. There's the soup you can see, jambalaya, now that's interesting. This one says penne shrimp and bacon, which is not what it says over there. It actually has the V on the menu showing vegetarian, but obviously that's not vegetarian. And then everything else looks the same. So it looks like an exciting meal. And then tomorrow for lunch, since we're at sea, I think we're gonna come over here and actually try the Cucina del Capitano, which is an Italian restaurant. But for lunch, they have a complimentary pasta bar. And then for dinner, where you can actually go 15 bucks for adults or $5 for children 11 and under. And then it's basically like a multiple course Italian meal. And a lot of this, like this, the minestrone sounds really, really good. And then, let's see, what did I see on here? They had a, I think there was a, uh, so eggplant parm would be good. And then there was a couple other vegetarian options. And then that comes with dessert as well. And you can buy additional alcohol for those who drink. So I'm excited to try that tomorrow. All right, so it is six o'clock. We were due back on the boat at 5.30. And uh, we just watched one golf cart full of people uh, pull up and they sprinted all the way through the yellow building. Oh, and here comes the next group sprinting too. Oh, you, you can hear it going off. Oh, they are excitable. <laughs> okay, so just grabbed dinner for the first night on the cruise. I've decided to go with a yummy salad with some raspberry vinaigrette made a baked potato as I expected to. This is that 
uh, pumpkin cheese pie. What I'm super excited to see what's in it. And then I went up and asked about the pasta. And it turned out that there was a discrepancy. They thanked me for catching it. And then when I confirmed that it was in fact going to be the shrimp and bacon one, they told me they could actually make us a vegetarian pasta special for us. So this is basically what it was advertising on the menu, just like a, a basic panne pomodoro. And they made us two very big bowls of it. Super nice, very accommodating. So definitely thumbs up for that. All right, so before I forget about it, so dinner, fantastic. That pasta they made was just perfect. And then the pumpkin cheese bake, whatever exactly it was called, that was really good. Uh, kind of tasted uh, like an autumn dish that might go with like Thanksgiving maybe. Definitely uh, really heavy on the pumpkin, but it was really, really good. Definitely, I'd say one of the better nights of dinner so far that we've had. Every night has been good, but this one was extra great. I'm really excited for tomorrow since we're eating on the ship all day. So off to the rest of the festivities for the evening. So one of the cool things about being on the ship is throughout the day they play movies. You can see it on the giant screen up there. And we're pretty far away and it's still a pretty good view. Some people are hanging out in the pool in the hot tubs watching it as well. Tomorrow I know Declan's really excited because at 6 o'clock is going to be Ghostbusters Afterlife. So even though we already have that at home, he wants to, of course, watch it on the cruise ship. I think after this we're going to wrap it up for the night and uh, get up early in the morning and get the activity started on the day out at sea. the horns done welcome to a brisk chilly and not very good view day four we are at sea today uh, we're somewhere right around kind of uh, maybe see the aviation term would be a beam but we're kind of like next to Tijuana right now somewhere between Mexico and the US just kind of I think we're zigzagging since it doesn't take a full you know 30 hours to get back to Long Beach but we're gonna head up uh, start off with a different breakfast today and then start to see what we have to do on the ship Because it's a day of nothing but the ship So this is an important day for the cruise director and the other crew members to make sure There's endless fun and activities on the ship since nobody can get off Because we are out over the ocean. So let's keep this day rolling All right, so breakfast is going to be the blue iguana cantina. They basically have a four-step burrito bar and during the breakfast time, it's breakfast burritos, and then in the evening time, it's your regular burritos. So I'm gonna get in line, because there's a little bit of one, and get my order. Well, since it's the last day of the cruise, and I haven't really, like, pigged out the whole time, my uh, eyes may have been bigger than my stomach this morning, so I went ahead and got a full omelet. There's the burrito that I got, and then some French toast and potatoes to go with it. I'm gonna try to eat it all, but I may regret it later. So once I get into the burrito, 
I'll definitely um, share how it was, probably after I eat everything. All right, so breakfast is all done. I just about finished everything. I'm sure I will regret that in just a couple hours. The burrito is really good. Not really what I would, you know, classify as like an authentic breakfast burrito or something. But it was very healthy and it tasted very, besides the crispy fried potatoes, those weren't so healthy. But it was really good and then the rest of the breakfast has been the same pretty much the whole ship. Or I'm sorry, the whole cruise, the whole trip is what I meant to say. <laughs> So there's that again. So it obviously, you know, it's really foggy out. So the horn keeps going off every, you know, couple minutes or so, um, which is why we chose to eat inside this time instead of outside because uh, the temperature was nice. It would have been nice to eat out on a nice foggy day. Time to go back and get ready for the rest of the day and find out what we can get into. All right, so first up, you can see we are pretty much on the very back of the boat. And uh, we haven't spent a lot of time up on this part of it. There's the rear pool, or the aft pool, I guess they call it, right here. And then a couple of hot tubs. And right up here is the ropes course. That's gonna be the next thing up on the agenda. Both me and Declan are gonna try it. I think maybe we'll go up and do it together. I'm actually gonna wear a head-mounted GoPro to get the point of view, the first-person POV, and then Ashley's gonna be filming me from below. So, wish me luck. And as we're heading up, you can see they also refer to this area as the sports square. And besides just the ropes course as we get up here, this is where you're gonna find the running track, which I intended to uh, hit, but I was just so tired this morning when I woke up, I opted to not come run around. And then they've got a little bit of exercise. The machine's kind of just all manual power. There's a basketball court and then um, up here is the mini golf course. All right, I'm in line. I've got about three people in front of me, and then I'm gonna get the head mount set up. You can see them sitting over there. Turns out he's about an inch too short to go on it, so I'll be on it myself. Maybe we'll measure him later and see if he's actually tall enough. They already made sure that it was gonna be attached to me because you cannot carry anything on here. Pockets have to be empty and everything, so we're just about up to it. All right. I don't know if I can be heard, but working my way up, I had to take my sunglasses off. It's really bright. All right, let's see. There we go. Okay. Oh, which one are we gonna go to? Let's do the easy one here. All right. Uh, all right, let's come over on this one. It's a nice view. And <laughs> Hit this one. Oh, I'm going out? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Ashley thinks this is funny. Says I gotta face my fears. All right, that's about, there's no more to go. There's like six inches. That's it, nope, that's it. All right, <laughs> well, we got that one. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even reach that rope. Ah, there we go. All right. We'll go on this one. This one looks like the slightly harder one, so. It is breezy up here. Going on the spider web. Man, this thing is quite long. All right, last obstacle. All right, down the stairs we go. So some other things that are up on the fitness deck as we're doing some walking laps around the track right now. You see it come up right on the left side here where that red square is. Actually, it's behind the red square where she's standing. It's a giant, like life-size almost chessboard. 
and I love chess, but nobody I'm with plays chess, so I would be playing by myself. Then here's another shot of the ropes course up here. All right, so while we're over here, I guess we'll go ahead and demonstrate all the different pieces of equipment at the sports square. First one we have is just an air walk. That's exactly what it sounds like. So we'll go to the next one. Obviously this is just an elliptical. It's just a manual powered elliptical. So there's no uh, electronics or plug or anything. Next up is just a back machine. It basically just uses your own body weight as resistance. It is on a pulley system, so it's actually not that difficult. And just pulling up. And the last one, which I'll use the tall bar, is just a pull-up. You're gonna get about one out of me right now. Because Declan was a little too short for the ropes course, we decided to come up and give mini golf a shot. It's so windy up here. We're already a couple holes into it, and the, it's just blowing the ball so hard. So uh, it's making it a little extra challenging. Okay. back at the Liquid Lounge. If it sounds like I'm in the middle of a horror movie right now, it's because I'm about to be, kind of. Tonight's performance, they've got a couple of showings of it, is Soulbound. It's, instead of rock and roll music, it's gonna be set to kind of like soul R&B music, but very voodoo type, kind of almost horror related stuff. So we're excited for the show. I don't know what else to say about it, except for we got about a half an hour before it starts. We got in here early to get great seats and you can see the stage right behind me, so now we're just waiting for it to start. show just ended. I am back up on the Lido deck because in just a couple minutes the white night party is going to kick off. They want everybody wearing white. That's kind of why I've been wearing this for the most part of today. Plus it's been cold. So the show was really good. I really enjoyed it. Way more special effects than the rock and roll one but it was to be expected based on what kind of show it was. The use of the projection screens or digital screens. I don't know if it was like a, like a television screen or if it was more like a projection screen, but whatever it was in the back, extremely good with the use of the lights and lasers as well. Phenomenal show. I, to I fully, fully enjoyed it. As soon as they got done, we came right up to the deck because they have the uh, little, like the white night pre-show going. You can hear the music probably pumping in the background. And let's see, in exactly eight minutes, the actual party is going to kick off. We'll enjoy a little bit of that, and then we got to go start packing to get off the boat in the morning. All right, we want to welcome you here to our White Night Party. Now listen up, Hamlet. I got one question for you. This question is very simple. We've spread so much love this cruise vacation. I want to know tonight if you can feel the love that is on this Lido deck. So my question for you is this right here. Here you go. Can you feel it? Come on. Give me some light. Now if you don't have a cell, put your glow stick up in the air. If you don't have a glow stick, just smile because the whites of your teeth are all I need right now. All I need. Let me tell you for the last and final time, Radiance family, what these lights represent. These lights represent the love that each and every single one of you possess inside of yourselves. These lights represent the love that you have allowed all of us to see here on board this cruise vacation. And family, the one thing we want you to remember is to never stop believing. This 
super long day is coming to an end. We are busy packing up for the early debarkation tomorrow morning. So we'll just wrap this up tonight. What a perfect way to end it, where if you could see this light right here in the distance, it passed by a few minutes ago. It's actually another cruise ship that probably left out of, I'm guessing, San Diego because we're kind of near there right now. And it just, we could see it off in the distance and I'm sure we looked the same to them. It was really cool. So this whole trip has been spectacular. First cruise we've gotten in several years, especially in the last two years because of the obvious reasons. It was overall a blast, I would say. If you've never been on a cruise, definitely book one. If you have been on a cruise and you've been hesitant, the safety protocols have been amazing. I never felt nervous or worried at any time. So definitely, you know, come back and join the seas again. But we hope you liked this video. And if so, please give us that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, please be kind and be real and join us on our next experience. So